Andy McCoy, your favorite um, hipster skateboarder, has now got a collaboration with Adidas SB. And they look pretty cool, man. I'm a big fan of these. Uh, they're like see-through superstars in the vein of some other see-through crepes you might have seen from other brands such as Nike in the past. Um, but these are pretty well done. So this is an article from Hypebeast. Um, the title says, Bernie McCoy's Ada Superstar sneaker set to release this week. Um, so a little surprise drop here. Um, we first heard reports of Bernie McCoy's first ever design of Ada Superstar silhouette this past July. Since then, there have been little to no news of the shoe's anticipated release. Recently, the multi-talented McCoy took to Instagram to relay that see-through iteration will release this week, which is a nice surprise drop before Christmas. Uh, McCoy's Superstar silhouette features a transparent... Um, polyurethane upper tonal black stripes in uh and a white detailing blah blah, blah. here's a his uh, caption i like him man they look pretty cool they probably look the best i've seen of the see-throughs maybe because of the overall form of a superstar there's not so much um how to describe it without making it sound dumb there isn't as much surface area to cover for the see-through um whatever plastic or rubber they use i'm not sure if that is plastic right um on the upper so you can it can basically keep its form a little bit better because I remember I had the C3 Air Force Ones, and what I remember with those is that they used to fall into, they kind of folded into themselves quite easily, maybe because of the weight of the shoe, maybe because there was a lot more surface area in the, on the Air Force One to cover, or maybe because the fact that they've got stripes on the side of them, it kind of helps to kind of hold the shape up. But I like the, how they look. They look really cool. And I imagine they are. Is it, an, is it an Adidas SB? Is it a Superstar SB, or is it just a Superstar? I wonder. Or do they Superstar SBs come with a, with a fatter tongue? I don't know. Because I'd also think like, what what would they be like in terms of skateboarding, in terms of like you know getting um what you call it the little hole on your ollie and stuff, all the scuffs on the side. Would they get? Are they prone to that, or is that little enforcement reinforcement here at the front of the shelter? I'm not too sure, but they look really cool. I like I like the actual look of them. The fact they got blondie here on the side is really cool, and I also like the color color combination. I think the the idea of having like a a really dark gums um sole with a shelter and then having the black stripes is really cool, white and black. And they're super versatile shoe, some light pants and dark pants. I like what they look like. I look really nice. Um, I'm not a fan of the England tattoo, but, you know, he is from here. So what can you do? But, yeah, I like the shoe. I think he smashed it. He did really well. So it says a follow in his caption. Oh, the novelty of feeling emotional with Rizian. Uh, my superstar will become available for purchase this Saturday, the 14th of December. And we will be screening a skate video in London tomorrow night. Okay, that's cool. So I guess it's this, this today, Monday, if you released that yesterday. So definitely check that out if you're that way inclined. But I like the shoe. Um, it's nothing about it being a superstar. Uh, sorry, a sk uh, Adidas skateboarding shoe. It looks like it's just my, just regular inline Adidas original stuff, which is even more interesting because it means that the Adidas superstar shape will be probably the 80s one, so it'll be a bit more of a slimmer, thinner silhouette, which might not help someone like me with fat feet. But for those of you guys who can wear Converse's and do like to wear Vans old schools and stuff, you'll be super happy. But for guys like me that like to wear Air Forces and, you know, uh, pff, wallabies and stuff you're going to be pissed because I don't think the shoes are going to be for us but they look interesting I fucking love the shoe I wonder what they're going to look like once they get worn in uh, uh, hopefully there's a wear test where he posted pictures of him actually wearing a pair that he's been testing out or maybe a, a, a pair that he wore when he was filming a skate park it'd be cool to see what they look like scuffed up like what's going to happen with the uppers will they peel off because usually when you have an upper that isn't see-through plastic you usually have a little bit of a layer inside right I know from my my days in skating when you have the shoe and you had a bit of the holes on the side from you know from rubbing the outer on the grip tape when you're you know trying to flip or do an ollie wherever it may be usually there's a there's a couple of layers underneath the top layer so there might be a couple you know paddings and bits of padding or whatever so i wonder what happening with those or maybe nowadays you can get i'm not too sure I haven't looked online to see what skate um gear people sell these days but i wonder if there are people are out there selling like um <laughs> It sounds stupid, but like skateboarding socks, like socks with padding. Like, you know, and you can get those running socks that have the little bits of padding on it. I wonder if they have the same sort of thing with skateboarding socks where it's got little thicker bits on it, which probably might not be the most comfortable stuff to wear underneath a shoe, but I don't know. Um, but I, I quite like them. And it reminds me of uh, some uh, some other uh, really influential see-through trainers back in the day, um, well, uh, especially Nike ones. First of all, the Air Forces that I had as well, that I think I sold straight away. I didn't keep them i think a, a friend of mine marcus actually had a couple of pairs i think he wore them for a while marcus but i didn't really wear mine um and they used to really get remember they used to get always they would steam up really quickly um that wasn't a fun thing but do you remember these these were the f i think they were the fantastic woman or something like that right yeah fantastic four pack 
um, from Nike from 2006. Wow, man, that was an era, isn't it? So this was uh, four pairs of shoes. I'm assuming, yeah. There was an Air Max 90, Mr. Fantastic. There was a Air Force One, Miss Invisible Woman. There was a Dunk High, which was a great colorway, actually. This brown sort of color with the thing. And, of course, there was the Human Torch not Air Max 95. Really cool colorways. But um, this Air Force One, of course, was the standout piece. I think this sold out pretty quickly. Everyone, This, I think, was the era when people were wearing... Do people still do that now? I don't think they do, right? A lot of the hipsters in, in London especially like to wear white socks with, like, dark shoes. Or white socks with Reebok Classics, white and black, you know? That that thing is big, the white, the white, especially the white Nike socks. But back in the day, the thing that was popular was, like, you know, pattern socks. Not weed leaf stuff, but, like, other stuff, like, you know, funny things, I don't know, SpongeBob SquarePants, whatever it may be. So wearing these type of trainers with those kind of socks was cool because you could always have different type, you could have odd socks on, especially with shorts. People would love them. I'm surprised they haven't really come back in, in vogue, especially with the with the lads that like to go like IB and stuff with, you know, wearing short shorts. I think they would look really cool with those kind of style of shoe, like ankle socks, patterned ankle socks some short shorts and massive fires. You know what I mean? Like, you know, shuffling somewhere in Ibiza. They look pretty cool with those kind of lads, but I'm surprised that maybe because they haven't seen them or they're not re-released, but they would look quite cool. And then the other see-through shoe that I thought was really cool was the Clot Air Max Ones, which I had. I think this is, might have been the last shoe I queued for. I'm going to say maybe. I think this might have been the last one. Um, do you remember these? The Clot Air Max Ones uh, from 2006? So the, 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 there was twofold. Number one, on the Air Force One we just saw recently, they were just like a regular Air Force One with the see-through. But these were an Air Max One that was non-linear. So I think, I remember they were mucking around with that. So it was basically no no landing on the, F, on the Air Max One upper. It was just one, basically the outer piece, and that was it. So they were super uncomfortable, and the sizing was so weird because there was no padding on it. So if you were a size 10, you might be a size 10 in the actual footbed, but the upper was like so spacey. Um, and the only, and, and, and imagine... It was better. It was a bit better because it was only the top bit that was see through. The actual, actual, the entire toe box of the shoe was still the upper, like new buck or suede version of whatever it may be. But these were a big shoe. I'm mean, oh, map on the insole. These were a massive shoe. Uh, you didn't get this in the release. I'm pretty sure it's a normal, but I think there's a friends and family one. But this was a big shoe. Again, this might have been the last sneaker that I queued up for. I'm pretty sure. This might have been Foot Patrol as well. I'm not too sure which shop it was I queued up outside of, but this is definitely the last one. One of my favorites as well. And then lastly, the other shoe that I thought was a real standout in terms of the see-through uh, trend was the most recent see-through trend that I remember was a clot. Um, so it was a Comme des Garçons Dunk High that debuted, I think, during the Comme des Garçons Home Show, right? Home Plus Show. Um, this, oh yeah, this I remember it being one of the, again, um, he's an underrated model for streetwear stuff, you know, Lil Yai. Maybe because he's a bit bigger now, he probably doesn't do as much, probably doesn't feel as comfortable, but he's underrated in terms of look, in terms of poses and stuff. I think he does the modeling thing of streetwear stuff really cool. I liked his uh, shoot that he did with, um, what's his name? With the Inconnors brand or whatever that brand was. He did something cool with that and I, I really like his pose. I think it looks awesome. So it's little, yeah, he's sitting on what looks like a Nike box, but it looks like a brick or something, right? Some sort of brick and he's got the Comme de Garso, um dunks on. So essentially, they're black and white dunks with the panels that are meant to be white. Essentially, just completely see-through. They look really, really cool. I thought they were really amazing. And obviously, they debuted on the runway here. You see them here being worn in a really cool way with some nice baggy socks. Like, really, really cool shoe. And I liked it because, oddly enough, I don't know why. Maybe because they, I'm not sure if they're higher than normal dunks, but they kind of look a little bit like, you know those dunk heels? I remember Dunk Hill had a similar sort of colorway. And again, these sort of colorways don't really get too often because they usually tend to, like, splatter them with all sorts of nonsense colors and patterns but i love the two-tone dunks like the you know in the kind of the, the classic be true to your school dunk sb sort of vibe you know what i mean like the university sort of colorways like just two colors i think they, that's where they look their best again those combinations can be a bit you know can get a bit redundant after a period of time but i think they obviously do look the best. and again it's inline dunks so they've got the best shape no need for that super fat tongue or you know, wherever it may be, and the SBs I had previously, and and I've always found the SB dunks. I don't know the uppers. You should just again. I don't know. They didn't have a good structure to them. Maybe because they were usually always suede and new buck, so they kind of tended to kind of you know go a bit flat. But those those are one of my favorite see through shoes. But again, they're hard to wear, man, because they always tend to fog up when your feet are getting sweaty. And you just feel a bit gross wearing them. So, and again, you don't see too many people wearing these shoes. Considering how people love to talk about their sneakerheads, especially some of the rappers out there, you don't really see them wearing this too often. Maybe because it's not too showy, innit? But I like them. One of my favorites, actually. 
of recent years. But yeah, check out Blondie McCoy Superstars. They'll be coming out. So I say the 14th, didn't he? So keep an eye out for that if you want to get them. And I guess follow him on the socials for more information.